Welcome back to Squawk on the Street. I'm Sarah Eisen, and I'm here today in Midtown Manhattan for the Women's Forum Breakfast of Corporate Champions, which recognizes companies that have at least 40% of their board membership as women. And one of those who was recognized here today with more than 50% representation is Trisha Griffith. She's the CEO of Progressive. It's great to have you here. Great to be here, Sarah. Thanks and, for having me. And good to have you on CNBC for your first interview ever. It's my first time. I'm very excited. <laughs> Welcome. So let's talk about the insurance business. For a lot of Americans, they have been dealing with higher prices and higher premiums in this inflationary environment. Is that calming down? What should we expect next year? You know, it's hard to say because if you would have asked me at this time last year what inflation would be, I would have said, oh, it's abating. And it didn't. Think of used car prices, body shop, labor. There's so many different inputs that have come into it. We see it slowing down a little bit, and so we, there's good signs. And our pricing is based on frequency of accidents and severity of accidents. And the severity is not as severe. So we have prices earning in. We have a little bit more to earn in. And we feel at Progressive we're in a really good position to continue to grow and grow profitably. There's also the higher interest rate piece. How does that change the economics for you? And what do you expect next year on that front? Oh, it's hard to say. Well, you know, from that perspective, it is our capital management, so our investment. We have a very uh, short duration, and so we're able to, um, as maturities come due, to put them into a higher yield. So we'll see what happens. But our, from the capital management perspective, what they're trying to do is protect the balance sheet so we can grow the operational part of the company, and so that's where that fits fit in. What is growth looking like on the operational part of the the business. Really, really strong in both premium growth and unit growth. So think of unit growth as policies in force for customers. Uh, we had a great third quarter. Uh, we're one of the few companies that report earnings monthly. So you'll know within a matter of weeks how our October looks, but we're feeling really bullish as we head into 2024. Part of the story for you has been the growth in market share in auto insurance yes. specifically. What, what are you targeting on that front? How big of a part of the market? We have always had a long-standing objective to grow as fast as we can at or below a 96 combined ratio. And what that means is we want to make four cents of underwriting profit of every dollar that comes in. So we will grow as fast as we can as long as we can take care of the customers. So to make sure we hire in advance of need, have them prepared, because we're in the business, you know, we don't sell anything tangible. We're in the business of trust, so we need to make sure when something happens, usually in the form of an accident or an incident, we're going to take care of you. And so that's really our priority. Does the UAW strike affect you at all? It has a little bit more from a, uh, a time frame with which to get parts. It hasn't too much. We've heard that, that it'll get back to sort of uh, normal business within 12 to 18 weeks. So we've baked that into um, our indications and how we think about the future. The other big factor on the business when we, we think about insurance now is, is what's happening in weather and, and climate. And I'm wondering if you have rethought the strategy at all, given the higher incidence of catastrophic issues that have been happening. We've definitely rethought that on the property side. So we have a homeowner's company and a couple of years ago decided to de-risk a little bit. We were heavy in what we would call more volatile states and lighter in non-volatile. So we're trying to sort of spread our portfolio out. It takes a little bit of time, but we're in the process of doing that. Climate change. How is the, do you think the industry is forward-looking enough in terms of dealing with it and how it's going to change the business? I think it is. We have a lot of modeling. Uh, we work with our reinsurers to understand what we think would happen, although it's been really difficult in this last 10 years. But we continue to evolve our models to understand our rate to risk and how we can protect our customers.